Lord, once again, giving praise and thanks, amen, to our Savior, our God. We've been talking all week about the irrevocable Word of God, knowing that God's Word, praise God, is not going to change, amen, praise God. Whatever God has spoken and knowing that God is watching over His Word, praise God, to perform it. And even as, praise God, we are bringing it, amen, praise God, to a, a close, amen. I thank God we want to say this, the promise, the process, the manifestation, praise God. And even as as we've been looking at Paul, the Apostle Paul, and amen, watching, praise God, and seeing everything, praise God, in his life. And we just want to put in your hearing, praise God, these words, amen, out of Acts 28, verses 16 through 31. Praise God. We bless him for his word in Jesus' name. The Bible says this, now when they came to Rome, the centurion, he delivered the prisoners to the captain of the guard. But Paul was permitted to dwell by himself with the soldier who guarded him. And it came to pass that after three days that Paul, he called the leaders of, Jew, of the Jews, amen, together. So when they had come together, he said to them, men and brethren, though I've done nothing against our people or the customs of our fathers, yet I was delivered as a prisoner to, um, from Jerusalem into the hands of the Romans, who, when they had examined me, wanted to let me go because there was no cause for putting me to death. But when the Jews spoke against it, I was compelled to appeal to Caesar. Not that I had anything of which to accuse my nation. For this reason, therefore, I've called for you to see you and speak to you because the hope, amen, of Israel, I am bound with these chains. So what Paul wanted them to know was this, that he was a prisoner because of his belief in Israel's Messiah, the hope of Israel, y'all. Thank you, Lord God. But even as the word of God goes on, it says, then he said to him, amen, would neither receive letters from Judea concerning you, nor having any of the brethren who came and reported or spoken any evil of you, but we desire to hear from you what you think. For concerning this sect, we know that it is spoken against everywhere. In other words, what he was saying, though they didn't know anything about Paul, they had heard that Christianity, you know, which was unpopular among some, that was being spoken against everywhere. And so even as the word of God says, so when they had appointed him a day, they gave him a day, many came to hear his lodging. To whom, praise God, he explained the solemn, solemnly, he testified of the kingdom of God, persuading them concerning Jesus from both the law of Moses and the prophets from morning till evening. And some, amen, were persuaded by the things which were spoken and some, they disbelieve. It's still the same way today. Some believe and some don't believe. So even in the word of God, it says, so when they did not agree among themselves, they departed after Paul said one word. <laughs> The Holy Spirit spoke rightly, though through Isaiah, the prophet, to our father, saying, Go to this people and say, Hearing you will hear, and shall not understand, and seeing you will see and not perceive. For the hearts of this people have grown dull. Their ears are hard of hearing, and their eyes they have closed, lest they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears, lest they should understand with their hearts and turn so that I should heal them. So listen what Paul tells them. He tells them this. He said, therefore, let it be known to you that salvation of God has been sent to the Gentiles, and they will hear it. Thank you, Lord God. Oh, yes, my gosh. <laughs> God, thank you. Praise you for your word. They shall hear it. And when he had said these words, the Jews departed and had a great dispute among themselves. And the Bible said that Paul, he dwelt two whole years in his own rented house and received all those, he received all who came to him, preaching the kingdom of God and teaching the things which concern the Lord Jesus Christ with all confidence. Praise God, no one forbidding him. And so even as we're saying to you, it's all, it was all about the kingdom of God. It was all about a message, thank you, Father God. And when that message was rejected, I thank God, amen, it was sent to the Gentiles and we got a reason to give God praise. We got a reason to bless the name of the Lord. And even as we stated, praise God, the promise, 
the promise and I bless the Lord praise God listen numbers 23 you already know it 23 19 the Bible says God is not a man that he shall lie neither the son of man that he should repent as he said has he said it and shall he not do it or has he spoken and shall he not make it good that's the question you ask. the promise of God we said the promise the process I want to say to you don't despise the process don't despise the process, the things that you go through, praise God, because still, again, whatever it is that God has promised is coming to pass. Thank you, Lord God. And even in the word of God in Romans 8, 28, the Bible says all things. And we know that all things, they're working together for the good of them, praise God, who love God to them who are called according to his purpose. We've been called to the purpose and will of God. We're called to do the will of God. And I thank God to still know and understand the process. Everything that you go through, everything, praise, it's working. It's still working. God is taking those things and it's working for our good. And still knowing the manifestation. Thank you, Lord God. This is the thing that we told you, write it down. God's word always manifests. The word of God, it always manifests. And even as our scripture from Isaiah, praise God, 55, 11, the word of the Lord, and he says, so shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper. It's going to prosper in the thing where to I sent it. Wherever God is sending it, guess what? That word will manifest. And I bless the Lord. I thank God, even as we looked at the Apostle Paul, there are many in the Bible that we can look at, but we looked at the life, praise God, looked at the Apostle Paul and what he did, praise God, and we saw, praise God, the promise, what was spoken to him, and still, praise God, the process, what he went through, and we see, praise God, the manifestation, what was this all about, the kingdom of God, preaching the kingdom of God. Amen. And we bless the Lord. And even those, listen, you're going to have people that's going to reject you. They're going to reject what you're coming with, but it's okay. Amen. Praise God. I still hear, amen. I believe it was Andre Crouch who said, tell them. Tell them, even if they don't believe you, tell them. We still got to tell people. Praise God. Tell them what thus said the Lord. Amen. Giving them the word of God. Amen. Once you've given what God has given you, praise God, it's off of you. And now guess what? It's on them. You have relieved yourself. Amen. We can't save nobody. It's God. Praise God. And I still thank God for the word of God. It's God's. Listen, one plant. Praise God. Somebody going to come along and water, but it's still God who's going to give the increase. And this is what we give God praise for. I bless the Lord in my word. Praise God. Our word. Praise God to you this morning. To those of you still again under the sound of our voice. Finally, as Paul, the Apostle Paul said, finally, my brother, and be strong in the Lord and in the power. Thank you, Father, of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand. Stand against the wiles of the devil. And we know the wiles of the devil are the tricks of the enemy. Thank you, Lord God. And remember that we're not wrestling against flesh and blood, but we're coming against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness that's in high places. And even praise God is telling us, take the whole armor of God that you may be able to resist. You got to be able to resist and stand in the evil day. Are we not in the evil day? We are here. We're in the evil day and having done all, praise God, you still got to stand. Stand in the mighty name of Jesus. God has given you the ability to stand. Thank you, Lord God. We already stated that quitting is not an option. We're not giving up. And listen, if you praise God, if you bow down, let it be. We're bowing down in prayer. We're getting in the presence of God and we're gaining strength because this is how we move forward. We move forward on our knees in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible tells us, praise God, stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth. God's word is truth. This is what we have, the truth of God's word. This is the highest form of reality in the name of Jesus. God's word, his truth. Thank you, Lord God. And having the breastplate of righteousness, you got to remember, thank you, Lord God. He has made us righteous in him. We stand complete in him. Thank you, Lord God. We're clothed 
clothed in his righteousness, having your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Amen. Praise God. You're going to face the enemy. Praise God. Firm footed. You're standing in the name of Jesus. You're ready with the good news. Thank you, Lord God. And we got the good news. We got the good news for somebody who feels there's no hope. Somebody who think that it's over. Thank you, Lord God. But as long as breath is in their body, there's still hope. Thank you, Lord God, in Jesus' mighty name. You're sharing with them there's a better way. There's a better way. Thank you, Lord God. You tried it your way. It's not working. Try Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Oh, yeah. God, we bless you. We honor you in the name of Jesus. And even as he tells us, praise God, above all, taking the shield of faith. Amen. Praise God. You got to take up the shield of faith. Quench the fiery dots of the enemy. Thank you, Lord God. Take with you the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit. Praise God. Sword in my hand. I don't know if you remember. That's an old school song. Sword in my hand and I'm ready for war. <laughs> God, we bless you. We got the sword of the Lord in our hand. The word of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, to combat against the works of the enemy. Thank you, Lord God. We're speaking his word out of our mouth. We're speaking the word because we're taking the word of God. We're hiding it in our heart that we might not sin against God. We're hiding this word in the name of Jesus and allowing this word of God to be a lamp unto our feet. Guiding us in the name of Jesus, the word of God, the sword, thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus, and even as Jesus, when he was tempted, praise God, after fasting, 40 days and 40 nights, what did he say? It's written, it's written, the word of God, it's written, thank you, Lord God, man shall not live, we're not living by bread alone, but we're living by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God, thank you, Lord God, we're using his word, God's word in the name of Jesus, and praying always. Always praying. Thank you, Lord God. This is not a, a part-time job. No, this is, praise God, what we do on a regular. Intercessors, prayer warriors, we're praying. In the name of Jesus, we bring everything to our Father. Everything in prayer. We bow our knee. In the name of Jesus, prayers and supplications in the Spirit. We're watching. Thank you, Lord God. Watchmen on the wall. Thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. We pray. We pray, we intercede in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody's life. Thank you, Lord God, when you pray and remember that God is watching. He's still watching over his word. He's watching over the word he has spoken to perform it, to do his word. So, Father, we just still, we bless you. We honor you. In the mighty matchless name of Jesus today, thank you. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Father. We praise you and glorify you the promise the process, the manifestation in Jesus' name. Whatever you have promised, God, in your mighty name, we thank you, Lord God, that you do your word. We praise you and glorify you and still knowing, yes, God, you're not a man. You are God. You are God in the name of Jesus, God of your word. We thank you all power that's in your hand, all authority in the name of Jesus. The earth is the Lord's, the fullness thereof. It all belongs to him. It all belongs to God. Sometimes we just got to go back, praise God, and understand, check some stuff in the name of Jesus. Know who we are. Praise God, redefining ourselves and knowing, praise God, amen, the power, the authority that's been given unto us as his sons and daughters in the name of Jesus, power, thank you, Lord God, he gave us power and authority in the name of Jesus, you're treading, treading upon serpents and scorpions, the enemy is under your feet, thank you, Lord God, and we praise and glorify God in the name of Jesus, we're not walking around worrying, we're not walking around, praise God, pulling our hair out. We're not walking around, praise God, trying to guess and figure, but we're standing on the word of God, on his truth. And Father, we praise you and we glorify you in the name of Jesus today. Every warrior, every intercessor, thank you, Lord God, we remain in prayer. We're consistent in the name of Jesus. We're consistent. You are consistent. You're a God who have not changed in the name of Jesus. And if God has not changed, he's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Thank you, Lord God. And Father, we praise you and glorify you. We're going to be, Lord God, consistent. We're going to remain, Father, in the name of Jesus, persistent in what we're doing. Thank you, Lord God. 
persistent, knowing that our persistence Thank you, Lord God, as we remain persistent in the name of Jesus. I believe, praise God, the enemy can't help but flee. Thank you, Lord God. We're standing on your word. We're trusting your word. We're going to do your word in the name of Jesus. Father, we glorify you. Thank you in the name of Jesus, Lord God, every region, every city. Lord God, even now, in the name of Jesus, every state. Father, we're pulling down, pulling down, pulling down some strongholds. We thank you, Lord God. We decree and declare it out of our mouth, your word. We speak over our children. We're speaking the word of God over our families. We're speaking your word, Father, decree and declare it, calling those things and be not as though they were. We thank you, Lord God. Thank you for salvation. Thank you for deliverance. Thank you in the name of Jesus, your healing. Thank you, Lord God, everything that you're doing, Lord God, in the midst of us. Thank you, Father. We praise you and glorify you. We speak your word, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we bless you and we honor you, Lord God. Nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible. Thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. To him that believe. We believe, Lord God, with you all things. All things is possible. It is possible. We thank you, Lord God, and we believe the report of the Lord. We believe your word. We're standing on your word. We're standing on what you have spoken. We bless you and we honor you in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray, Father God, that wherever we go today, we thank you right now, the blood. We praise and glorify you, Lord God, every mode of transportation. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, we thank you if it's our legs, Lord God, our feet, wherever we're going. In the mighty name of Jesus, we praise you for covering us. We thank you for ministering angels that go before us. Thank you, Lord God, that every crooked place is made straight. We thank you. Lord God, in the name of Jesus and still, Father, we bind accidents. We bind, Lord God, mechanical failures. We are binding premature death. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. We glorify you, Lord God. Thank you right now. In the name of Jesus, we praise you, Father God, again, as we pray and plead the blood, Lord God, not just over us, but over family members, over, Lord God, that neighbor, over that co-worker, over our children. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, over our cities and our states, our nation, those that sit authority, we pray, we plead the blood in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord God, even the laws, Father of the land. We pray right now, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Father, we know that you're still watching. You're watching and you see, Lord God, and you're moving. We thank you, Lord God, and even when we don't understand it all, we thank you, Lord God, that you know what you're doing because you're God. Your ways are higher. Thank you, Lord God, your thoughts and not our thoughts, but Father, we thank you in Jesus' name that your will is being done. Your will being done, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. But you said pray, that we are to pray, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray for those in authority that's over us. Pray, Lord God, you said pray, amen, for the welfare of where we are in the name of Jesus. We're not going to stand by and just watch. We're going to pray. Thank you, Lord God, this is what we're to do. Pray in the name of Jesus for the welfare of wherever you are. In the name of Jesus, that things will be well with you. Thank you, Lord God. So, Father, we praise you and we glorify you in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, because God is still in control. God is in control. Thank you, Lord God. I know man think that they got this, but no, praise God. I praise God in Jesus' name. God got this. He got it in Jesus' mighty name. So we bless you, Lord God. We're going to trust in you. Trust it in you, Lord God. Trust it in your word. We're going to wait on you. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father God. We're going to remain, Lord God, confident. Confident in your word. In the mighty name of Jesus today. So by the authority still of the name of Jesus Christ, y'all. We render every demonic spirit, every attack still helpless that come up against us, helpless, powerless, is still inoperative. In the name of Jesus, against us, our families, even our finances. In the name of Jesus, our health. Thank you, Lord God. We still decree it out of our mouth what God has spoken through his word and what he has done. Thank you, Lord God. By your stripes, Father, we're healed. We're healed in Jesus' name. Heal from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet. We thank you. We praise you for what you've done. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you, Lord God. Again, the promise 
Thank you, Lord God, process, manifestation, those three things. Don't forget it. Promise, process, manifestation. Thank you, Lord God. It will happen. It will happen in Jesus' name. So I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, remember, go in the peace of God, go in the love of God, but still go and know and no weapon formed against you. It cannot, will not, shall not. Thank you, Lord God, prosper, because God said it won't prosper. It won't work in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus. Amen. Praise God. The process, the process and the manifestation. Amen. Praise God. Trust God. Amen, God. Whatever, whatever God has promised you, he's going to bring it to pass. And we thank you. Thank God for every last one you once again get it on. Praise God. Amen. Listen, as you go throughout your day, always say this. Encourage yourself. Be encouraged. Amen. I know you're already encouraged by the word of God this morning. Amen. The promise, the process, and the manifestation. Amen. Praise God. But speak life and not death. Speak victory and not defeat. And know that you're way more than a conqueror. Amen. You are overcomer. Amen. You've been brought with the Christ, the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Remember, live on purpose and live with the purpose. Live a purpose-driven life. God bless you. Go in peace. We love you all tonight. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you can be notified when we post our daily